Hey guys, I'm back to do another one of my character reviews. Um, like my friend mentioned in his video, this time we're going to be reviewing, uh, Pocahontas from the Pocahontas franchise and the Keys to the Kingdom version of Princess Aurora. Um, he did his Pocahontas video yesterday, and I'm here today to do my Keys to the Kingdom Aurora video. Um, she doesn't have a very long list of complaints, I think I counted seven of them, so hopefully it won't be a, a, a really long video. Um, I do admit that I'm not the biggest f f fan of, uh, the Keys to the Kingdom version of Aurora, but the, the reason I'm doing this video is because I feel like she gets an awful lot of undeserved hate from fans of the Sleeping Beauty version of her. I mean, if she's not your personal cup of tea, that, that's fine, but a lot of these complaints are very invalid in my opinion. And here they are. Um, they ruined her character by turning a mysterious character into a childish one. Um, she's stupid, she's annoying, she's totally obsessed with the color pink, her voice is annoying and sounds nothing like the original, she's a stuck-up snob, and she has less personality than the original. Obviously not my opinion. Um, they ruined her character by turning her- by, by turning a mysterious character into a childish one. Okay. For starters, we really don't know that much about Aurora in the original movie. I mean, she was sleeping for most of it. <laughs> she she barely had any screen time. Um She has a one maybe two dimensional personality. Um I mean I'm not, I'm not saying that I have anything against the original Aurora. I I don't dislike her or anything, but even if you personally like her Denying that she has a <laughs> a one or possibly two dimensional personality, you're really lying to yourself. And not knowing much about a character does not equal mysterious. By that standard, background characters like the. <laughs> The, uh, w woman in Aladdin who <laughs> shouts, still I think he's rather tasty, or something like that, are more, are extremely mysterious. <laughs> uh, I mean, when I think of a mysterious character, I think of someone, of someone like, uh, mm, Batman or Catwoman who ha, who who has a lot of secrets that they keep from the world and that sort of thing and we and we know some of them but not all of them um and they have a lot of deep complex layers and that sort of thing those are the kind of people that and characters that come to mind when I think of a mysterious character. And believe me, I, I'm, I'm not one of those people that claims that Aurora has no personality, but she's definitely not mysterious. She's your pretty standard uh, princess, uh, n noble princess. And as far as far as the keys to the kingdom version being childish, 
You have to remember that, uh... That the original one did have a couple of childish moments, too. We just didn't have, uh... We just didn't have a lot of opportunity to see her, uh... uh to, to see her acting out her childish moments. But, like, uh... Dancing with the animals in the woods? Yeah, I would say that that's behaving in a kind of childish way. But, I mean... The keys to the king... As far as the keys to the kingdom version being childish... Um... Who wouldn't be excited uh, about uh, being in charge of the kingdom uh, for 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 a, for a few days, and 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 what want to play around a bit and that sort of thing, and she she is also very responsible, like the original, and goes to um. Uh, go, go, goes to her to her work, uh, and and tries to re and uh, re reads over the documents and that sort of thing. So I don't really see that much difference uh, between the original and the keys to the kingdom, since they're both responsible and both have their childish moments. It's just the keys to the kingdom one is more fleshed out. She's stupid. Um, more young, naive, and ignorant about running the whole kingdom. I mean, <laughs> this is, um, you have to remember that this is her f first time ever uh, being put in charge of the kingdom, and <laughs> uh, who wouldn't make a mistake? In, in doing something like that. I mean... <laughs> and, as far, and as far as her being stupid in trying to take the easy way out because, uh... uh M Meriwether gave her the wand. Um... Who wouldn't be tempted to do that when you've got that much work piled on you? And she did learn her lesson about trying to take the easy way out. So, I don't really see that she's stupid, just under a lot of pressure and, um, and, and, uh, in a new situation and a bit ignorant as far as how it, how it works, especially since she wasn't raised in a, uh, in the palace, she was raised out in the forest, and, uh, probably doesn't know a lot about it. And, again, stupid is a complaint that gets thrown around way too much. Um, we've now had, uh, three and <laughs> one-third characters where it was, uh, arguably, <laughs> arguably true. Um... Th those being, uh, uh, Goofy, Launchpad McQuack, and, uh, Anastasia Tremaine, and, uh, Hugo from the Gargoyles being the one-third, since, uh, <laughs> they were all accused of it. <laughs> and like, like I've mentioned before, whenever this gets thrown around, even if you do consider a character to be stupid... To me, as long as the character isn't some sort of, uh, drooling idiot that can't take care of themselves. Sorry, my cat's outside, uh, the, the door meowing, wanting to get in. If you hear that, that's, <laughs> that's him. <laughs> but no, I'm not going to get up and open the door and let him in, he'll just cause problems. <laughs> um, 
A anyway, uh, unless a character is some kind of dro drooling idiot that can't even take care of themselves, like uh, uh, G Goofy in the, in the new uh, Mickey Mouse and Friends shorts, uh, where he's so stupid that he falls in love with a sandwich and can't get to the bathroom on time and that kind of stuff. Unless a character is that stupid, uh, uh, they're, they're really not so stupid that they're unlikable, in my opinion. I mean, characters like, uh, Dory, Dopey, Goofy, and the other ones that, that have been on the list, like Anastasia and Launchpad, are, are, are all good characters, even though they're not real bright. Moving on. She's annoying. Annoying is very subjective and very, 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 very much in the eye of the beholder. I've been over this a lot. I mean, uh... What one person finds annoying, another person finds charming. I mean, I, um... I, I, I find the character Olaf to be uh, cute and funny in his own way, even though he is kind of overused in the movie, and my friend finds him to be annoying as heck. Um, so I'm not going to get too deep into this. I've been over it a lot. Um, if, if you find her annoying, that, that's your business, and she's probably not your kind of character. So... Well, that's all. That's about all I have to say about it. She's totally obsessed with the color pink. Huh? How? Um, the only times I've ever heard her mention pink that I can remember are, uh, when she says, uh, uh, paint the trellis pink, and then when she gets the wand, she says, uh, mi uh, Make it pink, which I think was supposed to be a reference uh, uh, to, the, to the first movie, to, to the original movie where the fairies were fighting over what color it was going to be. I mean, uh, um, l liking a color is not the same thing as obsessing over it. <laughs> so, uh... This is ve very nitpicky and invalid. I mean, um, dur during the song where where she's excited about having the uh, uh, keys to the kingdom and being in charge of everything, and uh, and she says, uh, uh, p "Paint the trellis pink." Um, I kind of think that all she was doing was. Uh, t talking about how she could order that if she wanted, not, uh, just obsessing over, uh, <laughs> not, 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 not obsessing over it, and like I just mentioned, um, wh when she's got the wand, um, right before she goes to bed and says, M make it pink, um, She's just ca kind of having fun because she's got magical powers for the first time, and it was supposed to be a reference for the first movie, where the fairies are fighting over what color the dress should be, and, uh, they're, and they're always going, Make it pink! Make it blue! Make it pink! Make it blue! So, this is very, very, very nitpicky and invalid. I mean... <laughs> um... Liking something is not the same thing as obsessing over something. I mean, uh... When I think of, uh, princesses that are, uh, <laughs> that are uh, obsessed with stuff, I think of, uh, um, <laughs> ones like, um, Oh, M Merida, that are obsessed with... <laughs> with, uh... Not, not finding a... With, with not getting married. 
and uh, breaking tradition and that sort of thing. And yeah, yeah, I know that's different than obsessing over a color, but those are the kind of characters that come to mind. <laughs> That, 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 that's the that's more the kind of princess that comes to mind than uh, Aurora mentioning the color pink twice. Uh. <laughs> um. Her voice is annoying and sounds nothing like the original. Mm. While I will admit that her voice isn't a great match for the original, um, deciding that you're going to dislike a character solely because you don't like their voice is a very weak reason. I mean, yeah, I, I probably personally prefer the, the original voice um, to the one that they've got um, in Keys to the Kingdom, and the Keys to the Kingdom one is not a great match, but it's not, it's not horrible. I mean, if you want to hear a, uh, bad match to a voice, listen to the, uh, <laughs> to the one that they've got of Snow White now. Uh, she, <laughs> uh, she sounds really creepy. <laughs> Um, and yeah, yeah, I know that her, that she's been accused of having an annoying voice before, but she talks like this now. <laughs> she sounds like a, a almost like so a, a parent is doing her voice or something. <laughs> to me, that's a much worse match to the original than, um, <laughs> that Aurora in uh, Keys to the Kingdom is. <laughs> um, fortunately, they don't use it much, and I honestly think that... Th a side note, um, I honestly think that the only reason that uh, uh, the, the, her current voice actress uh, got to do her voice is because she's a... Uh, Great-granddaughter, I think, of Walt Disney. <laughs> anyway, sorry to get off topic. But, it, um, anyway. Like I said, um, I, I, I will admit that, um... Aurora's voice in Keys to the Kingdom isn't the best match, and they could have probably done better, but, uh, um, I personally don't find it annoying, um, but even if you do, um, disliking a character solely because you dislike the voice is a pretty weak reason. I mean, there are characters like, uh, oh, Donald Duck that, uh, who, who I find, um, who I think has a pretty annoying voice with, uh, uh not being able to understand him and his <laughs> but I, 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 I still absolutely love him. So, um, come up with a better reason than disliking her, her voice. Um, I mean, maybe you can add that to your list of, uh, Things that you do dislike about her, but don't dislike a character solely because uh, you dislike the voice. She's a stuck-up snob. How? I mean... Uh, it's not like she looks down on anybody because uh, she's... Sh she's royal or anything. I mean, uh... <laughs> Yeah, she's excited because, uh, um, because she's in charge of the kingdom, but, again, who the heck wouldn't be? <laughs> um, I, um, and I mean, she, 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 uh, 
she, she takes pity on the peasants who come, uh, uh, who, who, who come to her with their problems and everything and does her best to help them, even though it means, uh, S signing a bunch of documents and everything, and even even when she's really tired, she continues to try to help them. Um, and um, that that one scene where the little girl gives her the uh, uh, the the uh, f flower uh, crown as a gift, she thanks her and hugs her. So. To me, this is very invalid. I don't really see how she's a stuck-up snob. I mean, she's never shown as looking down on anyone, uh, like the servants or the peasants or anything. Um, like, she's also always been always kind to the duke who's trying to help her. Um, she's, ne she's never shown as looking down on uh, the peasants or the servants or anything, just because she's royalty and is a uh, higher up socially than they are um so quit quit making up these uh, weak reasons um <laughs> to dislike a character i mean yeah 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 i know that there is that scene where like uh, the people are shown uh, Carrying her in on a chair, but uh, that that still doesn't prove anything about her being a uh, stuck-up snob. Um, I mean, it's <laughs> not like she refused to walk or anything because she was she was royal and was like, "Oh, carry me in! I'm <laughs> I'm too pretty to walk." So, not nice try, but come up with a better reason that, than uh, something that you have absolutely no proof of. And she has less personality than the original. How? Seriously, how? I mean, like I, like I mentioned before, I'm not one of those people who goes around accusing the original Aurora of having no personality. I believe that she is a one-dimensional, possibly two-dimensional character. But we really don't know that much about her. I mean, she has such little screen time that they really didn't have time to develop her personality. I mean, all, all that we really know about her in the original is that... Uh, Um, is that she's kind, um, she is obedient, uh, to her, uh, uh, uh fairy aunts, um, and, uh, for, for the most part, um, except when the, uh, uh her, except when her dream prince shows up. Um, she has a bit of a playful side when the uh, a a a animals sh show up and, uh, and pretend to be the dream prince. Um, then when she finds out that she's a princess and is upset because she'll never meet her... Uh, uh, be, be, and is upset because she'll never meet her dream guy again. Um, she's upset but decides to, uh, uh, to, to be lo loyal to her kingdom rather than, like, uh, r r running away, uh, with her dream guy instead. So that's pretty much all we know about her. We know that she is obedient has a bit of a playful side, and, uh, is, is, uh, loyal to her kingdom. And that's about it. Um, and I wouldn't say that she's mysterious just because we don't know a lot about her. So, to me, she's pretty much your, um, uh, typical, 
Oh yeah, and she's nice. So to me, she's pretty much your typical nice heroine. She does have some aspects, some other personality aspects, but they're not very well explored or defined. So, to me, to me she has a one, maybe two dimensional personality that isn't very well defined. Whereas with the Keys to the Kingdom version, we, we explore all of those other a aspects that I just mentioned of her personality. Her kindness, her loyalty to her kingdom, her playful side. Um, her obedience. All of that stuff. We explore um, her kindness when she's shown hugging the little girl and uh, taking pity on the on the on the peasants um we explore her playful side when uh she uh is, sh is shown l l laughing a little bit at king hubert and uh playing with the wand um and we explore her obedience and loyalty to the kingdom when she's shown persevering, despite how tired she is. So, if you prefer the uh, original one, that's that, that that I have nothing against her. That's your business. But to me, the keys to the kingdom one is much more fleshed out. And, uh, and d does a good job of expanding on the personality aspects that were given in the original. Um, and is a much more well-defined three-dimensional character than the original. If you personally prefer the original, that's, like I said, that's fine, I have nothing against her, but I prefer the Keys to the Kingdom one, and I think that she gets a lot of undeserved hate. And that's about all I have to say. But like I said before, I... I may not be the biggest fan of the Keys to the Kingdom version Aurora, but I think that she's a much more well-developed a uh, three-dimensional character than the original. And I think that they did a great job of exploring the personality aspects of the that they hinted at in the original. Um, and I think that she gets a lot of undeserved hate, um, especially by uh, fans of the original Sleeping Beauty Aurora. And that's about all I have to say. Um, the... Uh, the link to my friend's video will be in the comment section or the description box below. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye and see you next time. Oh, and thankfully this is the shortest video that I've done in a while. <laughs> uh, so, so I'm not in any danger of uh, breaking the 50 minute mark and getting back in the curse. <laughs> Bye again. <laughs>